Okay, this is an Infulus tutorial, and just quickly before the main video starts, I'm just gonna ask, I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to a good friend of mine. So, hello, Lucy. Um, this is my real voice. So, yeah, hello. Anyway, as you saw, I clicked download, and if it's a .dot raw file, you'll find that that screen that just popped up with the one brush in it. What you want to do is you want to go to your My Documents area and choose the little down arrow thing and my computer is taking long sorry I didn't manage to edit it but that's what it's like <coughs> yeah oh and another quick shout out to my little sister uh, Diana so hi Diana and also hi Lucy and the computer is taking long but Okay, there it is. And now you want to go to your local disk C. Just click on that. And after that, you want to go to program files, which is there. Just there when I find it. There it is. Double click it. Open it. And you find Adobe for Photoshop. So Adobe, double click. And once you double click that you want to go to Adobe Photoshop CS3 and then there it is now you want to go to you want to go to presets well this is how I download mine there's probably other ways but this is how I download mine presets and then you want to go to brushes after you go to brushes you just drag the file from the .raw file in there and it's pretty much as easy as that but there's other ways of um, doing it so yeah there's other ways so you can there's another way which you just save it straight to your local disk C so um, yeah you just um, <coughs> sorry about that when you when you highlight the download if you see the thing cooks with a extension dot abr you do just click behind there so I, I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. When you highlight download and it says at the bottom dot abr down there, you look at download and if it says dot abr, what you want to do then is you want to save it just directly to you just click like that. You just want to hit save. And this is the other method of doing it. <coughs> Um, yeah, just want to click save. Sorry about the Windows Messenger contact stuff. But yeah, once you save it, you want to go to the same area we did before. You want to go down from wherever it is to the local disk C whenever it decides to load. Yep, there it is, local disk C. <coughs> Sorry about that, my voice went a bit weird just then. Local disk C, again, go to pro uh, pro program files, go to Adobe, and after you go to Adobe, go to Photoshop CS3. Then you want to go to, uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to click samples, but I didn't edit the video, so go to presets, then you'll go to brushes, and after brushes, you just want to save it there just click save so you want to save whatever you want to call it and this is called um, I don't even know what I saved it as but you just save it however you want and it will save there and once you load up Photoshop that will be there available to you but a quick word of advice if you do the save after you've opened Photoshop you need to close and redo Photoshop um, yeah and that's it and that's it about the video at the end I sort of started messing around with the keys like F10 and F11 